when you have a player as outspoken as Draymond and as confident as Draymond who has gotten into all the on-court incidents with a number of teams that fan bases will not forget, it, it is really hard to gain sympathy in any capacity. Also, yeah, ever since Clay came back from his injuries, he's turned into basically a cantankerous old man on the court. And there are people that are like, I saw a tweet that was like, was Clay Thompson ever likable or was I just tripping? And there are some that said he was never likable. And then there were other people that were like, oh, yeah, since the injury, he's become a different player. You know, when when they won the championship and he was like <laughs> red up straight at Jared Jackson. It, but like, look, it's all in like whatever. But that I don't care what your stance is on that. But yeah, w when you do that it's hard to gain garner sympathy when you're at the top. That's just the thing in general. Like no one is feeling bad for like the 1% of basketball. Like, okay, you guys have four championships, dude. My team hasn't won a playoff game since the George W. Bush era. You know, it's like, it's apples, oranges, man. It's different leagues, dude. It's like, it's like, it's relativity, bro. You know, stuff like that. That's why it's like, I don't have sympathy for you, bro. I had to watch my team start Andre Drummond, Josh Smith, and Greg Monroe on purpose, all in one lineup. I had to do that. So, yeah, it's hard to get sympathy when your team is down bad and your team is, like, super good. So, 